Welcome to the FEMAP 10.2 What's New video series. In this video we'll be looking at the new Meshing Toolbox Mesh Surface Tools capability. One of the major benefits of FEMAP's Meshing Toolbox comes from the ability to make changes to the geometry and the mesh interactively. The meshing process adopted by many modelers is usually serial in nature. That is, the various tasks such as editing geometry, setting mesh parameters, meshing and evaluating the resulting FE model are performed one after the other. If any further changes are required, then the meshed model is deleted and the process has to start over again. The interactive nature of FEMAP's meshing toolbox means that all of these tasks become interoperable with immediate visual feedback of the mesh and model quality. This helps boost productivity and allows more accurate models to be generated more efficiently. The Mesh Surface Toolbox introduces existing meshing functionality to the Meshing Toolbox environment, in which these capabilities can then be used interactively. For example, three or four corner mapped meshing attributes can now be applied after the model has been meshed and then updated interactively. Furthermore, you can perform actions from other toolboxes, such as mesh sizing, to continue to work on the mesh to get the desired result. You can also perform model checks on the way, like this free edge check for example. Other functionality that has been added includes quad layers, which will place layers of quad elements around stress raises like holes. Again, being part of the meshing toolbox allows such capabilities to be applied interactively after the model has been meshed. You can immediately see the effects of these changes on the mesh as the model updates automatically. To learn more, visit us at femap.com or call your local Femap channel partner.